what's happening. Sorry about the sunny bright up look. It's bright out here. So um I wanted to make a video real quick while I have a little bit of time. I actually wanted to do an update, um, a year update on my microblading eyebrows. And um, I made a whole, my whole experience on it. So if you haven't seen that, I did the whole from going there, getting it done, all of that good stuff. It's all there. But anyway, back to what I was saying. My eyebrows, it's been a whole year exactly actually almost a whole year next month it's um it's what is it it's october 28th and i got my eyebrows done november 17th i think somewhere around that time and i absolutely love them like if you i don't know if you could see but they're still filled in very nice the color of them did not fade at all the color did not fade she said it but you have to remember it varies on everybody's skin type so if you have a very oily skin um, the oils can push out the pigment of the color that she puts in to your eyebrow okay somebody that has like a more drier texture um, it's gonna last a little bit longer on you so with myself it's a little dry around this area so the color didn't really fade um i was gonna stop by her office and uh just have her look at my eyebrows a yearly update or whatever and see what she thinks if i need a touch up or whatever but i really don't think i do but i wouldn't mind getting one because the whole experience was a lot of fun <laughs> like treat myself for my birthday or something like that um or just treat yourself just because you know it's fun to treat yourself here and there so yeah that's my yearly update like I said they're still very nice they're shaped nice and I also wanted to do a quick little reminders here and there um, when you do get your eyebrows done if you're thinking about it you have to remember that does not mean it's you're not gonna have to clean up your eyebrows like with hair so just because you get your eyebrows colored in here and there the shape can grow out because of um, you know you have your natural eyebrow hair now if you're somebody that doesn't really have eyebrow hair you don't have to worry about the shape growing out but like for myself I get hair over here a little bit up here so you got to take the tweezers and you got to clean up your eyebrow you know a little pluck pluck but the best part is that you don't have to pencil your eyebrow in for me I never wore makeup really like once in a while I might put a little lip gloss on or something but I'm not the type of person that wears makeup at all hardly um so I and I never done my eyebrows so me just jumping out of nowhere saying I want to get microblading done was kind of weird but I always felt like my eyebrows was always missing like hair it was kind of weird like they were always very thin for me and I did I didn't really like that you know and I didn't know how to shape my eyebrows either because of the whole fact of like um I don't wear makeup so I was like seeing a lot of different videos and things like that and it inspired me to say hey you know what I don't do much for myself besides work so I decided to go get that done for myself it's something I do not regret doing I'm actually very glad I did it the pain level I would say for me the second time I went to get my touch up that was more painful from when I first got it done because she's going over the scratches that she did um, I think you get like a three month touch up or something like that I could be wrong but if you watch my video I did my touch up on the video I did a video on my touch up it could be a month to three months I forgot so don't hold me on that but um, when I did go to get my touch up, it was more painful from when I first got it done. So when I first got it done, the pain tolerance for me, um, and I'm a person, I don't have tattoos or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, so the pain level for me was about three. You know, it was like a three on this side, maybe a three and a half on this side. Uh, second round for the touch up, I would say it was like a five. On this side and a six and a half to seven on this side because I have
have a scar right here from where um a accident as a child so on top of the scratches she already did this was very tender so when she was doing it it was pretty uh not where I couldn't handle it, but it wasn't comfortable. I was like, man, this is like, Ooh. just like little Freddy Cougar was scratching. Meow, meow, like a little cat or something, you know? <laughs> but other than that, uh, it wasn't too bad. And the reason why I brought up um, I don't have tattoos is because if you're a person that gets tattoos, um, I'm pretty sure you can handle this, no problem. Someone that doesn't have tattoos, it, like me, it wasn't painful. So, yeah. And that's really it. I mean, that's my update on my microblading um, update, my year update. And like I said, if I decide to get it done again, um, I will make a video on it. One more um, thing I like to say, make sure you do your research. If you're thinking about getting microblading or anything cosmetic stuff on your face, because you're dealing with your face. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with your face and you don't want something that stays on your face for a long time looking funky and someone that don't have clean tools that they're using it causes an infection all types of things so please do your research make sure the person you're gonna um go to you feel comfortable ask many questions and if they are a very easy outgoing person that answers your questions and makes you feel comfortable i would go with that person another thing is which i mentioned in my video um how to treat your microblading eyebrows i would go with the meth wet method do not do the dry method with uh, microblading because that can cause infections the wet method is the best way to go about it okay so yeah and i'll end it there you guys have a wonderful day god bless you and yeah take care